Hi, my name is Will with Battleborn Batteries. Today I'm going to show you just how simple it is to set up a Victron MultiPlus with our batteries. First step is going to be to remove all the covers here. It's going to be six screws. Once you get that off, you're going to want to make sure that your number two dip switch is in the on position. If it isn't, nothing else is going to work in this whole demonstration. So once you have that all set up, you're going to get an Ethernet cable. That's going to be connected to an MK3 to USB. And then from there, it's going to go to our laptop or desktop computer, whichever you have. So let's go ahead and dig in. Okay, so you're gonna open the VE Configure software. This can be downloaded directly from VE Energy's site. When this warning box pops up, go ahead and click OK. From here, go to Port Selection, COM Port, Auto Detect. It's gonna take a minute, but it's gonna detect the Victron unit and also import all the settings that are already saved in it. All right, so once everything's imported, you're gonna go up here to Charger. You're going to click the lithium batteries option, which we already have selected. You're going to set your absorption to 14.4. Click OK. Your float to 13.6. Click OK. And go ahead and click send settings. It's going to pop up saying modified settings. Click OK. Now, after this point, it may ask you if you want to reset the device. Click yes. It'll reset and make sure all your settings are saved in the Victron unit. If you have any questions, please give us a call. Also, if you're not comfortable setting this up yourself, we are more than happy to do it for you if it's purchased through us. Thank you.